Hello everyone and welcome back to a question bound. First things first, apparently the whole thing about uh, the music in the previous episode in Moon Hadden, it was actually supposed to sound like, not like uh, crushed uh, 8-bit kazoos, but like uh, some kind of trumpet instrument. It was supposed to actually use the moon side instruments. But because of the emulator I'm playing it uh, in, it didn't sound like that at all. Apparently it's going to improve in the future version 1.4, so who knows, uh, it, hopefully it won't sound as bad as it did the uh, last video for you guys, if you ever played this game in version 1.4. And let's talk to the monkey right now, and he's not our mother, but... Yeah, now we have to meet uh, Fleur Shy, because she probably needs our help. But we have to rescue Sweetie Belle right now. What the hell? Well, I'm okay. Oh, Derpy? What are you doing here? Drop my package? Is this a new event? Because that's kind of nifty if that's the case. What? <laughs> um, I, I, I didn't quite follow these two events uh, right after each other. Maybe I'll have to review them later or I'll just go with the flow and ignore what just happened. Yeah, let's do that. I'm actually going to get my three bottle rockets that I really wanted uh, now, but another thing I need to mention is that uh, the insignificant item is for a Pony in South uh, Ponyville Hospital. I I didn't check it well enough, apparently. Because you're supposed to use the item and whatnot. Also, rainbow flavored yogurt, huh? Okay, so this pony wants rainbow flavored yogurt, huh? But. I'm thinking it's a key event that I'm going to have to complete sometime soon, but I don't remember where I'd be getting this rainbow flavored yogurt from. So I guess it's Faust time, yet again. I'm kind of surprised how much I'm using the hint system, but I guess uh, I'm a lot more impatient uh, these days when it comes to RPGs. I don't want to search around talking to every... Well, actually, it's because I'm LP in this game, so I can't take as much time as I want to. Anyway. Yeah, I, I figured. You, you just have to go to Flourish Eye. Not anything else. So the pony who wants the rainbow flavored yogurt. If it's an optional mission, then I'd like if you guys uh, don't tell me the solution, but... I'm pretty sure it's not an optional mission, because I remember something vaguely similar to that in the original game. I just thought it was in Summers that you have to do it. I'd totally be checking out the Insignificant Item subplot uh, right now, but Sweetie Belle has the Insignificant Item, so we're gonna have to wait until we get her back until we can finish that subplot. Or rather, optional mission, let's say. Yeah, now I think I see it now, D. This is a definitely an instrumental of a uh, You Gotta Share, You Gotta Care. It's just have been such a long time since I've listened to that song that I... I just can't... couldn't see it. Or hear it, rather. And that mole is a complete gimme when it comes to experience points. Okay, he's just repeating the whole things uh, we've talked about uh, as per usual. Now, Flourishai, well actually I might do a mushroom first. And it's running away from us because we're, we're far too strong for it. Yeah, Flourishai is now gone. Which means she needs our help. Probably. Huh, two monkeys, huh? Oh my goodness, now I, comp now I remember what this mission is all about. Oh, it's about giving items to freaking monkeys so you can hopefully go to the right passage to the end of the dungeon. Damn it! Uh, no, I do not have a trot sandwich. Sure, I actually do have a picnic lunch though. But that's thanks to a comment from the previous video. Thanks for that, by the way. Hmm. Oh, that's a chest, and cheese pizza inside. Nothing else. Well, this is the right way, apparently. Oh, this is the one time a ruler is actually going to be useful. I do not have a cold remedy either. Either. You know, there's some there's a mission similar in Majora's Mask where you have to give a bunch of mummies a. Uh, some items to proceed past all the dungeon. However, in that dungeon, in Majora's Mask, 
you only need the uh, five magic beans and um, I think a blue potion to complete the dungeon. Because uh, that's the two items you have to do to give the two mummies in the entrance. Every other item can be gained in that the same dungeon to complete all of it. Not so in this case. You have to check up on the items over and over. Back here. And the monkey, <laughs> the monkey is not still blocking the way, thankfully. Trot sandwich for you, sir monkey. Move out of the way. Come on, move out. I want what's inside there. It's a banana. You take all these monkeys with only one banana, but no. Oh my goodness, four monkeys. I'm going the other way first. Cold remedy for you, miss. Ruler for you, implied pervert. Let's check out what was behind the mist. Uh, probably the proper passage. Another picnic lunch. Hmm. Will we need one more? Probably. And is this a dead end now? It is, this is actually a pretty... There's lots of passages to, that we can go through here. Annoyingly enough. A wet towel. A stick of butter. Okay, you know what? I complained before that this is dungeon that this dungeon is not like the one in Majora's Mask that provides you with everything, but I think I might have been wrong. Maybe. Yep, that's a big maybe. I have too much stuff, huh? Well, I can't get rid of the cheese pizza. So I guess I'm gonna have to get rid of the secret herb. We can't buy more of that item if we absolutely need to. I think he got a yo-yo. It's considerably worse than my trick yo-yo. Wow, don't know why you even bothered. Now over here, what do these two want? Oh, okay, so this guy's the one who wants to yo-yo. And he actually accidentally spoke in our language. <laughs> and this guy wants to cheese pizza. Okay, so so this dungeon is kind of like the one in Majora's Mask. I, I, I complained too soon. Sorry for that. Even so, it's not as uh, atmospheric as the one in Majora's Mask. I'm going to tell you that right there. And that's the ruler I was supposed to have. Yeah, great. Wow, Jesus, there's lots of places to go here. And now the cold remedy. Ugh. Bloom's level is 37, and that was underwhelming, as per usual. King banana. I have bananas. Will that do? Apparently not. I do have a wet towel, actually. It's with bloom. So that's this place done. Can you move out of the way, please? And a trash can with a neutralizer. Hmm. I, I think we saw that item before. Probably a one-use item, likely. As I said before, this isn't a very exciting dungeon, because it's just walking around. Lots of walking around and remembering where you have to still check and go. Uh, 
I don't have a charge sandwich right now. And I do have a stick of butter. Okay, move out of the way, please. No, I've not. King Banan! Okay, so we got the King Banana now, that's a key item. But we haven't checked all the, everything that's behind the monkeys yet. We what do we need again from him? Another trot sandwich. Okay, over here. Cupcakes. I have a gigantic cupcake. Well will that do? It does! Okay, that's Nick that's cool. And this guy wants the bananas. Okay, okay, cool. Yes, I do have a banana. Okay, move out of the way, please. And this must contain a flame pendant. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted, but... Hmm. Same amount of defense as the night pendant. So I should probably give it to Bloom. Because she could use a better item. On her body. And I'm just gonna drop the sweater. Not even worth selling. Flame pendant. Description. Text from fire. Yeah, I, I don't know why I bothered with the description. <laughs> it's pretty obvious what it does. Well, I guess it could also be instead protects from ice attacks, but... A broken tube. That's, that's for Dinky. I mean, Bloom. Okay, so did I, did I go through everything? I, I think I did. In that case, uh, let's get rid of this picnic lunch. And this ruler. If I still haven't checked two monkeys, then... Well, it doesn't matter. I've got the key item anyway. I'm pretty sure I did go through all of the passages. As I said before, despite everything... Uh, despite the fact that this game dungeon provides you with everything as long as you got the two beginning items, it's just a lot of walking around with just really, really easy enemies. So it's still very boring. The dungeon in Majora's Mask, uh, it had a lot of variety in the design, and there was um, puzzles to break the, the like staleness here and there. This dungeon, just a lot of walking around with a bunch of uh, easy enemies. Here, your king banana. Died and gone to monkey heaven. Move out of the way. Flourish Eye, are you behind here? Well, that's the cupcake I was supposed to use. What sandwich? Well, uh, now I remember the one monkey I forgot to, uh, to get go through. Let's go back. Hi. There's your trot sandwich. And there's a bag of Dragonite. Yes, I was uh, thinking the bag of Dragonite will be in the dungeon. What the bag of Dragonite does is it turns you into a dragon. And <laughs> this item is kind of a, it's kind of a, its description doesn't really do it justice. You turn into a dragon and you cause massive damage to all enemies. It's an item you really just want to use against a battle that you're having lots of trouble in, honestly. There's one that comes to mind specifically in my case. Also, I'm going to get rid of the cold remedy in the cupcake now, because I know I don't need them. Okay, finally, this is the part where we need the hot sauce cupcake to proceed. Kind of arbitrary, to be honest. Goodbye, wooden cupcake. And... Flourish is right there. In this completely empty room. Let's... Well, let's not steal her stuff first. Let's talk to her first. Or talk to the monkey, uh, rather. Anyway, Flourish Eye. What? Why are you... Why were we behind all those monkeys anyway, Flourish Eye? That's kind of my question. Also, actually, come to think of it, is this a custom place? I don't remember it in the original Earthbound at all. And let me guess. Rainbow flavored... Yeah, well, rainbow injector. 
Yes. I have to go back all the way to Ponyville Library? Well, whatever, the trip isn't that far. Brain food lunch, that's good. And a couple of five noodles. Brain food lunch, it's still brain food? Well, I guess it's kind of vague in what it actually is, but I don't know. When I when I read brain food lunch, I always think of a I always think of a brain shaped uh, piece of meat. Yup. Hmm. Not for external use. Really? Okay. So maybe this isn't the key item I was actually supposed to use. Yeah, and it... Well, I didn't actually want to say no there, but yeah, it's wonderful. It's, it is wonderful for Shai. So yeah, this is actually a custom event, because uh, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to learn the teleport skill at this point in the game. It would have been actually pretty useful for us to have it right now, about now, actually. You know, to get out of this area really quickly. But that uh, was not how what is gonna happen right here. We're gonna have to go ahead and teleport all the way to Pruneyville Library. Unless the game designer was nice enough to have Twilight just happen to wait for us right at the exit of this dungeon. Maybe? Maybe? Wow, this dungeon is really long. For no reason at all. I don't get the point of this dungeon, honestly. A bunch of monkeys being jerks uh, at you and not letting you pass by to save the world because they don't have a freaking banana or trot sandwich or cupcake sheesh I'm glad the gigantic cupcake uh, works as a substitute by the way that's a nice touch I haven't talked to Pinkie Pie in a long time where is she? and when I mean talk to Pinkie Pie I mean directly not, not by phone Okay, Twilight. Time for you to teach me how to teleport. Do so right now, please. You know, I... I could, why couldn't you have taught me this right from the beginning? It would have been really, really useful, actually. And that was a glitchy fade-out right there. Thank you. Obstacles? <laughs> that, that... No, I'm not saying anything. Manhattan? Yeah, actually that is where I'm supposed to go. Anyway, uh, teleport alpha. To use it, you have to run along a road and you need a lot of space for it to work. If you crash into anything, well, I'm going to show what happens. Teleport alpha. Yeah, a Van Hoover is an option for us because uh, Bloom was there at one point, but we are not going there. We're just going to try to teleport to Manhattan and crash right into the Ponyville sign. Yeah, that's all that happens. You basically just waste uh, two magic points. Anyway, let's try to teleport to Manhattan properly now. It is possible with enough uh, moving uh, like in the circles to actually use uh, teleport alpha anywhere. But I think it takes like a frame perfect timing to, for it to work. Maid in from of the jet. The maid in from of the jet set building is waiting for the rainbow injector. In. F in from or in front? I'm guessing it's supposed to be in front. I I, I thought she wanted a rainbow flavored something, actually, but I guess I misread her comment. So yeah, it was the maid that wants the rainbow flavored what shall I call it? In front of the Jet Set building, which is... Not here. I never fought this enemy before. The crazed sign. Huh. Yeah, never fought this enemy before. Probably because it's not anything special. Yep, not anything special at all. Hey! Rainbow flavored yogurt. Yeah, that's what she was asking for, but... Uh, what we have is a rainbow injector. 
just taking it from me. Yeah, the uh, thanks, lady. Oh, and now we can visit the 48th floor in the Jet Set building. Let us go. Right now. I'm not going to be able to finish uh, what I'm about to start, but I could, I could start it at the very least. So I can go here now? Yes, I can. Yes, I am Dinky. Mr. Jet Set's maid, Smooth Polish, told me about you. I don't think... I don't think maids are supposed to have this much power in real life. Like, they're maids. It's weird, but fiction tends to portray maids as having a bit more influence on executives and whatnot than they actually really have in real life. Then again, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know much about this subject. I just think it's kind of ridiculous. And yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah, this is a dungeon. 48th floor of Jetsa building, an actual dungeon. You can tell by the music. And <laughs> the robots that are about to kill us in 10 seconds if we don't say a secret code. I don't think there is any secret code. I don't know why Dinky and Bloom couldn't just run away before the Sentry robot uh, finished counting down, but whatever. Yeah, these enemies are too tough. Thankfully. At least not so far. <laughs> okay, enough. Uh, don't remember anything much about uh, where to go in this place. I think... I, oh, yeah, we went in... Yeah, this is actually a closed section. Or a closed sector, rather. And another robot that we're going to have to kill. Level 42 for Dinky, and wow, that was underwhelming. Really? Why are the bathrooms always occupied? Sheesh. Now, if I go to the left here, it should bring me back here? Yes! Okay, that's how it works. And the robots do not respawn. That's nice to know. It's like, actually, I think this is a pretty short dungeon, so maybe I will complete it within the span of this video. Because again, why not? And we can't avoid the robots. And they don't follow us uh, between rooms. Thanks to SNES limitations. Oh, a present. Good. It's a good thing I went to the, the, this side. Also, Southern Guts Pill. It's a good item. Much better than I personally anticipated for it to be. And again, I think it's better in late game over early game. Which door? Which door? Left or right? I hold a pole, but I kind of know which one's the right one. On the right! Oh, oh, no, 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 not here, not here. We are not going by here yet. <laughs> oh, here's the maid. Oh, and rainbow yogurt. Rainbow Mysteria is pretty cool. Only calls you things hor uh, occasionally horribly? Words? I'm surprised the maid gets her own room. The, aren't there like dormitories that people sleep in? Because it's more effective that way in big companies. Okay, so the rainbow yogurt. Is that a one-time use item? We're all team in Hentonites. Well, I think it's a one-use item. If it is not, too bad. Probably wasn't that important. Also, vital capsule, and that's what uh, our item of the po our pull of the day is going to be. Which, uh, for which character I should give the vital capsule, Dinky or Bloom? But we're not finishing this video yet. I, I have just enough time, sort of, kind of, to. Finish this enemy that's right over here. I think you can avoid this enemy with a Tron sandwich, but I'm not certain. This robot seems to be kind of broken. Clumsy robot blocked away. I think they made it look cute on purpose, but this boss is anything but fun to fight against. Reapply the bandage, huh? Hmm. Yeah, so this is an interesting boss fight because uh, the clumsy robot 
He he has a lot of uh, actions that basically involve doing nothing. And then he's got this move where he restores all his HP. Quote, unquote. No, it's a complete lie. Every time he says he eats a bologna sandwich and restores all his HP, he's not actually restoring any HP at all. Or if he is, the game doesn't care about it. After a certain amount of damage caused to this boss, it automatically ends. Even so... Oh, really? It didn't work? Well, at least I bought three bottle rockets, so lots of chances to make them work. Oh my goodness. What a waste! Three bottle rockets, not a single hit him! Uh, what can I do? Shield killer, in case he's got a shield or something. He does not. Friendship beta. I don't. I'm, I'm not fooling around with this guy. I just don't want to. I don't like this boss. It's just very annoying. And he does have a magic shield. The shield killer failed on me. Ah! Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this boss. On the rare occasion that it will actually attack, it will deal quite a bit of damage. But again, a lot of its actions just involve doing absolutely nothing. Can I just flash this boss, actually? And uh, whatever, bash. My goodness, the one time Dinky was supposed to act first, she acts last. Thankfully, Bloom happens to have the secret herb, which thankfully we managed to use, which means we thankfully get to reheal ourselves here. I'll heal Dinky because she's more important. Yeah, see, right there, if you were playing this and you didn't know that the bola and the sandwich didn't actually do anything, you'd be very pissed off that all your efforts were for naught. Thankfully, I know better. Yep, that's the bass cannon from Vinyl. That was... that's kind of a... well... In the original Earthbound, what happens is the Runaway 5 come in and they, uh, they go behind the robot and just turn it off. Which is kind of funny. But here... well, I guess it's supposed to be sounded a lot cooler, but the fact that the music didn't change kind of didn't work for me. Even so, I was expecting that to happen. When, when that happens, that means the fight ended and you dealt enough damage. Ugh, mediocre. Thanks, Vinyl. You were helpful for once. Don't have any money. Well, I guess I'll make this an extra long episode and see what happens next. Because why not? It's Jet Set. He captured Sweetie Belle for some reason. And actually, I wasn't actually going to get to use Jet Set right away, but... Yeah, Jet Set sees a coward. And thankfully that bear is stuffed. Uh, let's talk to Sweetie Belle first. Okay, Jet Set, what did you do? Actually, let me check this first. Like, it's clear there's something right here. But I can't really check it. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. Sorry, sweetie, but I want to talk to Jet Set. Yeah, your business collapsing around you. Your wife left you. You missed lunch. Things have been going to crazy downwards when you get the statue. You know, Jet Set, you've caused us a lot of trouble for someone who's so ap ap apologetic, or whatever the word is. Could have just uh, prevented all of this happening if you just uh, not antagonized us from the beginning. But no, instead you decide to be a coward. Hmm.
Well, I suppose he was being controlled by Discord. No. Oh man, I totally didn't see this coming. I, it was kind of obvious that passage was right there, though. Anyway, time to use a teleport. Uh, I mean, a hel helicopter now. At least that's what the game is kind of uh, leading us to. However, got to go through this eerie passage before we get see the helicopter, and then all of a sudden. Oh no! The helicopter have started to move! Now we can no longer fly at our leisure! I wonder who's controlling the helicopter? Could it be a professional that's actually got a license to use it? No! It's Diamond Tierra! Too slow, blank flank! Since Jet Set's just some a stuffy old unicorn now, there's no point in somebody like me sticking around. Owning this helicopter was probably the only thing that loser did right. Oh well. At least he'll have some loser friends to keep him company now. Also, a nice sprite flip right there. Anyway, yeah, uh, the game uh, story was telling us, oh, we're about to use the helicopter to continue with, on with the game, but no, that's not what it happened. Uh, the, the game just decides to throw a curveball at you, and then you don't get to use the helicopter. I, I don't really, I didn't really need to explain that. Whatever. Anyway, vital capsule pull of the day. Vote for which pony should have it among these three uh, right here. Dinky, Bell, or Bloom. Also, good thing we have the insignificant item back. I'll check that up uh, next video. Yep, next video. Anyway, hope you've all enjoyed this one. I hope you all have a very nice day. Bye-bye.